In this problem, we have a table, and we're asked to compute various probabilities. So it says, a study was done on the handedness and the height of people. The number of each is shown here. So for example, there were 20 people that were right-handed and short, 26 people that were left-handed and short, 12 people that are ambidextrous and short, and the total number of short people, well, you just add up 20 plus 26 plus 12. The total number of people is 134 in this problem. Part A. If a person is chosen, what is the probability that the person is average height? So let's write some stuff down. So A. We want the probability that the person is average height. So P of ABG. So the probability that someone is of average height, it's a fraction, and it's the number of ways to pick someone of average height divided by the number of ways to pick a person. Well, they give us the total. It's really nice. So the number of ways to pick a person is the total. So 134 ways to pick a person. And the number of ways to pick a person that is average, well, that's 35, right? They give us that total as well. You could also add, right, 12 plus 21 plus 2. That would give you 35. So 35 over 134. So again, the probability of picking an average person, it's the number of ways to pick an average person divided by the number of ways to pick a person. There's 35 ways to pick an average person, 134 ways to pick a person. So 35 over 134, um, I got 0.26. How many decimals? Well, it doesn't really say, so, so let's just go with 2 in this case. So 0.26 according to my calculator. B, a person is chosen. What is the probability that the person is tall and right-handed? So both tall and right-handed. So P of tall and right. So we still have 134 on the bottom, and we just need to figure out how many tall right-handed people we have. So I'm going to go to tall and see where it meets right-handed. Right there, 26. There are 26 people that are tall and right-handed, so 26. So 26 over the total, 134. So 26 over 134 is 0.194. I'll use three decimals this time, just to be different. 0.194. Part C. A person is chosen. What is the probability that the person is not ambidextrous? OK, so P of not ambi. Well, there's a couple ways to do this. Maybe the easiest way is to figure out how many people are not ambidextrous. If you have 24 ambidextrous people, you see, you just go to ambidextrous. There's 24 ambidextrous people. And there's 134 people total. So that leaves 134 minus 24. That leaves 110 people that are not ambidextrous. So there's 110 ways to pick a person that is not ambidextrous. And there's 134 ways to pick a person. So it's going to be 110 over 134. So 0.82 would be the answer in this case. D, a person is chosen. What is the probability that the person is right hand given that they are short? OK, so P of right given short. So whenever you have a given, the bottom number is going to change, right? This is a conditional probability. So we know the person is short. So that reduces our sample size, our total, from 134 right, to the number of short people. So 58. So 58. Right? So the number of possibilities is reduced from 134 to 58. Right? So 58 people are short. From these short people, just from these, we want the right-handed ones. So in this case, it's 20. So 20 over 58. So 20 over 58 is 0.34. I'll use two decimals in this case. So 0.34. E. A person is chosen. What is the probability that the person is tall or left-handed? So tall or left. So this question here is the reason I wrote the table here in yellow. So whenever you see an or and you have a table, well, on the bottom you have the total, so 134. And there's a trick. You just circle the tall people, because it says tall. Then you circle the left people, because it says left. And then you just add up all the numbers. So 26 plus 21 plus 5 plus 26 plus 10. This lets you avoid using the formula. You can use the formula too, but this 
is a little bit easier. So again, we circle the tall, we circle the left, and we add. So I'm going to type this in my calculator. 26 plus 21 plus 5 plus 26 plus 10. I got 88. So 88 over 134. Going kind of fast because it's so many parts. So 88 over 134, uh, 0.66 is the answer in this case. So 0.66. So 0.66. A, B, C, D, E, F. Getting there. Two people are chosen with replacement. What is the probability they're both ambidextrous? So we want them both to be ambidextrous. That means the first person has to be ambidextrous and the second person has to be ambidextrous. So both ambi. This means the first one is ambidextrous and the second one is ambidextrous. So we have to use the multiplication rule for probability. So let's see. We want the first person to be ambidextrous. So there are 24 ambidextrous people. So there's 24 ways to pick an ambidextrous person. And there are 134 ways to pick a person. And the next person has to be ambidextrous. But it's with replacement. So after we pick a person, we put that person back. So we still have 24 ambidextrous people and 134 people. So you can put this in the calculator like this, 24 over 134 squared. It just saves you a couple seconds. Um, so why not? 24 over 134 and it's squared. I got 0 .03. 0 .03 is the answer I got. And then G, uh, same thing, uh, except without replacement. Whoops, can't see it. Uh, with, without replacement in this case. So two people chosen and it's without replacement. I don't know how to make this go away so I can see it. Maybe it'll go away by itself. So both ambi. Yep, it went away. Good stuff. <laughs> and it's the same thing. We want the first one to be ambidextrous, so 24 over 134, except it's without replacement. So now we're missing an ambidextrous person, so it's 23 over 133. Right? We have one less ambidextrous person and one less person overall. So be really careful when you're typing this into your calculator. Um, it's really easy to mess up. So let's see, 24 over 134 times 23 over 133. I typed that incorrectly. I got 0 .03 um, again. So uh, I guess when, when, when the decimals change a little more, um, the numbers are different. So this one was, this one was 0 .032, if you're curious. This one's 0 .031. So um, they're almost the same, but they are but they are different, right? They are different numbers. So you have to go to the third decimal place uh, to notice a difference uh, in these answers. And that's it. So I hope this helped.